Hey, I'm Allison. And I'm Jesse. And we're going to share with you a few tips on what you need to know before you walk down the aisle. Right? Well, what should I know? I'm getting uh, yeah, married. Yeah, he's getting married. I'm already married. Actually, second time around. And the second time has been amazing. And it's second and last time. That's what she says. <laughs> hey! It is. He knows my husband. Okay, one of the things you should know is that, you know that famous line from the Tom Cruise movie where Renee Zellweger says, you complete me. Puke. Or what was it Tom Cruise that said it? No, it was Renee oh, it was her. Zellweger. Right. Of yeah. course it was Renee Zellweger. Yeah. Uh, in truth, he doesn't know. I don't think the person completes you. I think it is about you. I think I believe that the other person is that is your dessert, your bonus. He <laughs> That's a great way to put it. Your dessert. <laughs> that's your that's your dessert. <laughs> well, first of all, who would want to be in a relationship with somebody who feels incomplete? You know, right. There's so much for work that, and stress involved. Oh, vey. Like you I'm know? looking for that missing piece to this puzzle. Right. I'm so incomplete without right. someone to love me. Oh yeah. yeah, well yeah, let's let's hook That's, up. That's yeah. you sound interesting. Yeah. No, I think you should know, you know, he won't complete you should know more about who you are before you even walk down the aisle because that other person, he could be there or she could be there to encourage you, support you, give you guidance, advice, but it ultimately, um, you are the person making the decisions. You have to decide what's going to make you happy. Well, and God forbid, what would happen if that person had to go on like a long business trip? You'd be incomplete for like a month. What would you do with yourself? <laughs> How would you feed yourself? How would you? I know. Oh my God. <laughs> you're like missing. It's like your arm goes away for a month. You have to completely. <laughs> and you're just saying a long business trip. Like, what if that person's gone all the time? Or what if? Or what if it doesn't work out because he realizes or he, or she realizes that they're with you and you've just not figured yourself out. I call it rom-com wisdom. Romantic, romantic comedy, comedy wisdom. wisdom. Yes. Like, yes. oh my gosh. Like, we got it. We have to. Well, that's why I love that. Mindy Kaling because she loves all those rom-coms, but she made a TV show out of it. Well, but she's, but she approaches it. She kind of points out also like what's wrong with all of them as well, you know, because yes, yes. she's We would all smart. love to live in that kind of, you know, Picture perfect world. The way I look at it, you have to really know that you are 100% absolutely complete the way you are. Mm -hmm. And you two, like two perfect beings get to come together right. and express even more and love And you don't together. have to be perfect. You just kind of need to feel solid in yourself. So She doesn't believe a word of that. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can have plenty of and stuff, but ultimately, if you don't have it together and you're assuming someone else's, that can lead to all those unfortunate things later in life. Midlife crisis, mm -hmm. unfortunate tattoos, <laughs> you know, someone wanting to decide they have to buy a motorcycle. You know, I actually taught a class. Worse affairs. I taught a class on conscious dating. And one thing I had everyone do is write out down a list of their perfect partner. Like, who is your perfect partner? Like, are they handsome? Are they wealthy? Are they whatever, whatever, whatever? So the, all those shallow points. Well, and <laughs> but are smart? Yeah, are they yeah, funny? Yeah, are yeah, they yeah. whatever? And then you look at it, and then you ask yourself, how many of those things am I? Mm -hmm. Because do I really think that I, if I don't think I'm any of those things, then I'm going to attract that? Right. So many times we go looking for people that have qualities that we believe are lacking in us, but generally what happens after a while, if you're walking around, if you think you want a 10, but you think, if you think you want a 10, uh, and, but you believe that you're like a six or a seven on the scale, sooner or later, the 10 is going to figure it out and yeah. say, I don't, yeah. I don't, I want another 10. Someone that yeah. knows their 10. Stand in your 10. Know your yes. 10. So know there you 10. go. That's, that's our tip. He or she won't complete you. It's not the line of Tom Cruise. And if you believe that they're going to complete you, take a step back. Take a little, yeah. take a little, go do a little eat, pray, loving, uh, even if it's just within your own home. <laughs> even if it's just going for Italian down the street. Be okay with being yeah. single for a little yeah. bit, a little self-reflection. It goes a long way. Yeah, because Jesse, I complete me. Absolutely. But I love having you in my life. <laughs> you kind of complete me. I admit it. I was nothing before I met you, Allison. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for a few more tips.